Have you woken up in the morning, found that your CGM logged random glucose spikes at night, and had a mini panic attack, wondering what on earth is going on? Don't worry, we've got you covered. Nightly glucose dips are generally caused by a prolonged period of low blood sugar tied to poor diet, lack of exercise and sleep, and even stress. Now that you've dipped your toes, let's dive into the deep end. There are two things that could be happening, the Dawn effect or the Samogi effect, and we're here to tell you all about it. If your blood sugar is high in the morning, it could be a side effect of ill-timed insulin. Let's time travel. It's nighttime and there's a ton of insulin in your body. It's behaving like a drill sergeant telling your cells to use up glucose. When it's almost time to wake up, your hormones will try hard to compensate for all that lost blood sugar and may end up causing a sharp uptick in glucose. If you've also woken up with a case of night sweats, this is probably why. The dawn effect, surprise, surprise, occurs at dawn. That's the time your blood sugar can spike. Picture your body dusting itself off, drinking its first cup of coffee, and preparing to kickstart the day. Basically, hormones like HGH and cortisol are telling your liver to release sugar into the bloodstream so your body has energy. There's no need to worry because this is totally normal. Everyone needs a little boost to start the day, even your cells. But wait, how can you tell if your glucose spike is because of the Dawn effect or Samogi effect? Here's a hack. If your blood sugar is low around 2 to 3 a.m., you could be seeing the Samogi effect. If it's normal or even high at that time, you can suspect the Dawn effect. Studies show that the quality of sleep you also get decides whether or not your blood sugar rises at night. Binging your favorite Netflix show or answering emails from bed can keep you up later than you should be. The less sleep you get and the more you snack during nighttime shenanigans, the harder it is for your body to use insulin normally. So, what can you do about these nightly glucose dips and spikes? Well, lots of things. You can start by using your diet as a tool to maintain glucose levels. Maybe skip the bread and potatoes and eat some leafy greens before bed? A low-carb meal at bedtime can help control the dawn effect. Experiment with an earlier dinner or squeeze a light post-dinner walk into your routine and check your fitness tracker to see what that does to your glucose levels. You'll have the highest rate of success if you have a balanced diet, good sleep, and low stress. Have you experienced glucose dips and spikes at night? Make sure to try these hacks and enjoy spike-free nights.